Philippines, Rukmini Rao caught up with the management of emphasis and began by asking them about Q4 results and growth going ahead. So let's listen in. This was clearly, uh, uh, as I said, the, the focus has for us been to continue to focus on building an order book and deal wins. And I think from that perspective, we are fairly satisfied with, with mm -hmm. what we achieved in Q4. And we're already about more than halfway through the next quarter. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think uh, from a, I think our story is really more about can we continue to find growth in direct core, which has been our core engine of growth, as well as uh, can we bring back growth in the HP channel. I mean, there are other parts of Direct International uh, which have a little bit of a, of a headwind which showed up in, in Q4, especially digital risk, but um, again, we'll stabilize that as well through the year. So I think uh, our expectation is for Direct Core to continue to grow at our above market and for HP to bring back the growth this year. Sure. Uh, of course, the HP channel has seen uh, stability coming back, really. But will we see growth coming back in that portfolio in FY18, really? So I think FY17 was all about stabilization mm -hmm. and FY18 is all about growth. So uh, I think you, you can expect growth um, you know, in, in FY18 in the HP channel. And uh, still early days for the year. So I think as we go through the next couple of quarters and looking at the, the conversion of the, of the pipeline that we have in the order book, we, we should uh, be in a good position. Sure. Is, uh, is initial talks that you're having with HP clients really uh, giving you that sense? Yes. Uh, actually, we, are, we feel much better today than we did uh, last quarter or the quarter before. And I think uh, there, are, there are two or three things that are driving that. Firstly, HP in itself is now four distinct entities, and that gives us uh, four times the, you know, the opportunity size. Uh, obviously, it means we have to build those relationships and mine those accounts. Secondly, I think we announced a significant partnership this morning with DXE, mm. which is the merged entity of uh, you know, CSC and HP Enterprise Services, which is, in itself is actually a top three global IT services company. I think that should drive some opportunity, especially at the front end of transformation deals. So we are kind of moved from being uh, an extension of the delivery arm to actually being a, a solutions partner going to market together in identified you know, segments of the market. So sure. that should definitely give us an opportunity. Uh, how big is this deal? How would you bucket this at? Uh, I, I won't want to put a number on it, mm -hmm. but you know, obviously we've done some math and we've looked at what the opportunity size is and, and where, the, uh, where the playbook is. And, and we, that's the reason we announced this partnership jointly. I think as we go through the year and as we have some more mm -hmm. specifics to share, we will share it. But we, we see this as, as a significant opportunity. Sure. Um, Surya, uh, on a year-on-year -year basis, we have seen uh, quite a bit of uh, improvement on the margin side and a marginal improvement really quarter on quarter. Can you, you know, help us understand uh, where is, uh, how, how we've been able to achieve this kind of uh, uh, improvements in the margins and also in terms of your own comfort level uh, as far as operating margins go, what will it stand at uh, for FIAT? Sure. We have been, I think, a couple of uh, initiatives we drove. One was, of course, uh, restructuring our portfolio, which helped us uh, drive up the margins. And the second part of it, we're continuing to drive operational efficiencies in the system. And uh, as mentioned earlier, we will continue to be in the region of 14 to 16 percent mm. for FI18 as of now. Sure. I mean, there's a lot of talk in the industry as far as uh, human resource rationalization is concerned. I mean, across peers, really. Uh, is there anything uh, from emphasis at this point in time, or are you comfortable with the current headcount? And uh, is there any kind of unusual trend as far as uh, you know, uh, you letting go of people is concerned? No, nothing of that kind, and we are quite comfortable with the current headcount. Mm. Uh, we continue to drive reskilling, et cetera, to, mm. so that we can ensure that our current workforce is uh, made uh, shift to the new projects, uh, the type of projects which we get.